Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlan. And I'm Marisa Vedra. For years, we have been investigating tow company scams. But today, only on two, a new twist. And more than 100 drivers caught in this scheme. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza spoke with one of the victims. She joins us now. Sabrina, that business busted now and shut down. And we found out how those business owners have been doing this this whole time. We spoke with one victim who got her car out before or after rather the city stepped in and shut it down. 150 cars were towed from this lot. That victim says she was charged $3,600, all of that to her and to her insurance company. She had no idea how big this scam was until we gave her a call. When I went up there to try to get it out myself, he told me it was $3,600. And I said, for what? Tanya Smith got into an accident in June. AP Towing and Recovery showed up. They seem to be coming to the rescue. Their scamming would say otherwise. But it was like six or seven things marked off at $500. Take a look at her bill. She went through the numbers with us. 500 for the tow, 100 per day storage, 500 for special equipment, 500 for cleanup, then more charges tacked on top. $3,600 total. He said, that's why you need to let your insurance company uh, go through them to pay it. I said, so you're going to rip off my insurance company, huh? Another victim. This car had been there since June. Its owner told us off camera that after he got into an accident in June, AP Towing and Recovery took his car and held it for months. Its owner says they were told it was beyond repair, so he gave up the car. He had no idea his car was still there in one piece until we showed him this picture. Sources tell CBS2 that AP Towing and Recovery would do this over and over again. Charge car owners and insurance companies exorbitant fees to get their cars back, many times holding them longer than necessary. Often, the bill was so high that they'd convince owners to sell their cars altogether. All this while operating illegally on a city-owned lot. I think they should, they should reimburse all, all the customers. They should do some type of jail time. Chicago Business Affairs and Consumer Protection with other agencies worked to shut them down, and a cease and desist order was issued on June 30th. The company neither ceased nor desisted. Then Monday, six tow trucks at AP Towing we're towed. The lot locked up. Sources tell CBS2 that the owner of that tow truck company, as well as a driver of one of those tow trucks, were arrested, charged, and then later released. As for those 150 cars, they were taken to a secure city of Chicago lot. Chicago police are working to connect the owners with those cars, and the city says once those owners come to that lot with proof of ownership, they will not be charged any fees for their cars being towed by the city. We're live in the loop. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you for that story. Now, if you've watched and you think you were a victim of AP Towing and Recovery, your car could be at that secure lot. Here you see the address on your screen. Now, if you go here, you will need proof of ownership to pick that vehicle up.